Yeah, guys, we're taking a closer look this morning as to why drivers want to avoid going west on I-64. 14,000 feet of lumber spilled from a semi rollover early this morning. The driver of the semi expected to be okay. Deputy Tussie, come on in here. We were actually out on a ride along this morning, just taking a tour of the devastation, seeing what was out there, and I spotted these little ears just perking up across the waterway. Deputy Tussie did not hesitate. He stopped the car immediately, threw it in reverse, and we saw that dog. I was actually a jazzy jumper. Go, Hattie. So Go, you. Hattie. Do you want to see like, my best trick? Yes, my please. My very best trick. This is okay. really weird. Oh my gosh, you can really do it. Woo! Kelly That's is really surprised. good. All right, so we did lots of different tricks. I'm stunned. We would stunned. travel around. Here is the outcome. Five minutes later, frozen solid. There's even an icicle. Look at that. Did you hear that? It broke the hanger. That is how cold it is outside. Check this out. Totally frozen. Situation in Cabell County is still very rough when it comes to the power outages. And here's why. Just take a look at this tree. It's a similar thing that you've probably seen all morning, the snow on it. But just look. As you knock it off, it's a very thick, it's an icy kind of snow, and it is just sitting on the trees unless you were to totally clean them off. It's just going to stay there. It's very rough. And then if you just look over here, this is incredible. Now, this is a phone line. It is never hanging this low. In the thick of that storm right now, heavy winds, heavy rains, wind coming from both directions. Now, the rock slide here, the fear that more land could possibly fall behind me is still very real, considering that the land is still unstable and the train tracks behind us, it can vibrate the land. You can see this rock slide just absolutely massive. And if you could imagine, this just happened a few hours later, we could have a tragedy on our hands, but right now, Route 52, you should very much avoid no matter what direction you're coming in. This is a 70 mile per hour stretch. This guy in front of me isn't even breaking 35 miles per hour, I don't think, and, and many people behind me. And the semis, look at the semi passing right now. They are in the left lane. They, you can't see where the lines are, and they're just going to brave enough. They're going to keep going or carpool with somebody who has four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive or drive as slow as you possibly can. They want it to collapse in on itself so that the fire does not spread across the street. They are using minimal water. I'll step out of the way so you can just see what's going on right now. They're using minimal water, one, because the lake here is actually frozen. It's so cold outside. They're having trouble getting water, and two, because they are hoping that this building does collapse in on itself and it could either be a good thing for a poor in the office or really bad in our case. Should we do it again? We put the cream cheese in there. I'm leaving him to do anything that could possibly cut me because I've she already taken one for the team it, today. Tell them how you cut yourself. Do I have to? Please, yes. I mean, you'd think it was like, oh, she cut herself with the knife. Listen, I'm no. calling it, it's not embarrassing, it's impressive. I got a cut on my thumb here from a... Our dainty flower, Hattie Cheek. A plastic spoon. He does have he asthma. asthma. He don't have no jacket. He don't have no shoes on. And he don't have no coat on. He don't have nothing on, so we don't know where he could be. We don't came to, to all his friends' house. But anybody that going to school today, if y'all see him, will you please tell him that this grandma does come home? Uh, please, if you know anything, just call the police. Back to you. Well, guys, the streets are very rough, and even more rough are the power lines that are packed down with the snow and the sleet that's been coming down throughout Huntington. Where we are right now is actually an area that could potentially be very scary and very dangerous here soon. Take a look at that power line right there. You can see the pole is starting to tilt, and it has a transformer on it, so that's also very scary. You see how the trees right there in front of the pole are kind of pulling down on the core? Well, that appears to be pulling that that power pole off to the side. And the more snow that continues to fall and the colder it gets and the more dense this snow gets that's packing down on these lines, the more likely that pole is to come down. And that could bring down another pole that we're standing right next to. Or So we're trying to kind of stay away from it just in case something like that happens. But a gentleman right across the street just told us his yard, he stuck a ruler down there, he saw 13 inches. That's what he says about his yard and you know we've been talking with emergency officials and they've been saying one of their biggest concerns is really taking care of the people who are dealing with medical problems and mm -hmm. and not having power and you yourself your wife is, is dealing with that very situation yes she is we uh, 
had to go on. She had to go on to uh, an oxygen just a couple weeks ago, and uh, she has a battery pack, but it only goes for about seven hours. So we're going to have to find a place to plug in pretty soon. <laughs>